absolutely nothing is going to plan i don't know how exactly everything will work out to be honest um, we were extremely stuck with a lot of work people think what we're going to do is not at all possible no one will give the permission for launches it is a quite failed concept in the aerospace industry you come up with the concrete plan but i strongly believe that that won't be our outcome that won't be our history so let's see can i change the diameter so uh, for the whole analysis of the thickness i called uh, i uh, i fixed the uh, uh, material to be structural steel work is going much much better than before i would even say great everybody is giving it their all and the reason why it's all going so great is i feel because of the fact that we didn't choose to give up despite everyone telling us that this won't work out even those technical advisors who were supposed to help in our building process we took their advice we built from the ground back up and we simplified the entire thing made it more feasible realizable other than that we are currently all done with our research in terms of simulational analytical mathematical verification and i've incorporated all our progress work prepared our pitch deck and now i'm that's why we're in, into the whole uh, fundraising part as well so i've started contacting investors as i'm ready to present and we're taking this forward into the testing phase having developing our own facility and carrying out various other works as well which will be the injector testing which we're planning on doing small scale element testing so we can finalize our model wind tunnel testing will be conducting in a institution uh, to verify our simulational model engines will be testing in the isro facility tanks will be testing in um, there are few facilities by isro and by private uh, I just had an investor call, and the few key learnings on the immediate basis, on the larger level that I identified, were one that I should speak slower in terms of my spe- speed of speaking. Second, I should engage the investor much more, like ask them questions and make sure that they're in touch with everything that I'm talking about, and etc. I'll also be sharing many more uh, key uh, mistakes that I was making and things to look out for in my exclusive chat, which is linked in the bio. If anyone wants to join. Beyond that, um, the call I just had was slightly weird because in it, the whole vibe of the call started with an investor meeting, but by the end, it sort of became more of like a get to know me and my business kind of call, and they were also suddenly on such a time crunch that I myself got such so awestruck as to what just happened that I also didn't further ask that what will be uh, our steps moving forward and everything. but keeping that one aside i have so far uh, contacted about 30 investors in the deep tech space who might be possibly interested so far out of those four of them have responded one meeting i had which was my first one which went great um he the investor said that he was fairly in line and interested in the whole project and uh, i'm waiting for him to respond once he's gone over everything on his behalf uh, beyond that one said completely said no as there Uh, as they're not they're not currently investing in seed rounds they're looking more for verified technologies in their a series a series b etc and i just had one which i was talking about which the sort of the vibe of the meeting kind of changed towards the end so so i don't really know what will happen about that one i have one or two may tentatively another one also lined up in the close future so the current meeting hasn't made me lose hope i'm looking forward to more of them responding and connecting back with me I uh, the f- first one that I had we might actually be able to move forward with them and I have few more uh, coming up tentative uh, meetings that could actually possibly turn out to be great and could then we could then take few forward with them yeah ye kaise to banega ye theek hai ana koi uniformity to chahiye hi hogi uh total diameter kitna aapka 350 
and there are 37 holes so there's a very interesting aspect of my business plan that I want to address so that any startup founder especially in the deep tech industry who's working on something can get an understanding about how I've made my business plan and how I explain it and what are the key things that are there that are unique to especially the aerospace industry beyond this I'll also be sharing every individual part about starting a deep tech company and then growing it making the uh, the pitch deck business plan everything for it in my exclusive chat which is linked in the bio if anyone wants to join i'll there i'll also be sharing the key changes that i made to it um for based on my learnings from investor calls and overall talking to people and everything so in fact talk about what's different in my business plan is that if you see here these two graphs this one shows our revenue per year and this one shows our launches per year there is a substantial increase in both of them around the year 3 mark but the reason why it's not linear is two reasons before i get to that i would like to address why there is an increase first so we have two main commercial vehicles first is a smaller vehicle with 300 kg uh, payload capacity to low earth orbit and second one is 10.5 tons so that's why the increase comes in the first place due to the substantial increase in payload capacity now if i talk about why these two aren't linear these two aren't linear because there's a non variable aspect of our ride share in both of them so even if i keep the launches per year constant the revenue will anyway skyrocket as i'm planning on taking substantially more amounts of payload right so from 300 kilograms i'm going to 10500 kilograms so and even if i keep the ride share in the launches same there's of course going to be a increase but at the same time i'm also increase that's our the larger one is our more commercialized vehicle so i'm also increasing the number of flights it has and therefore there is an increase in both but talk about the progression of our ride share exactly so we start off cheap of course to attract customers followed by the price increase and it stays kind of stable around 2 and 3 mark because of of course cost recovery of r&d and everything but there's another jump at the year 4 to 5 mark again two reasons first the considerable cost has been recovered in the upper parts for the r&d and second again introduction of a larger vehicle more flights causes us to reduce it so that we can have a more competitive edge in the market so that's sort of uh, everything my business plan part of my pitch deck includes of course there's our market comparison and everything but if you want to understand more i'll be uploading an entire guide uh, so you can join my exclusive chat and you'll be able to access all of it